What's up, Vibers? And as y'all know, WB2K23 just got announced in such a huge way. War Games! War Games. Oh, I'm sorry, I had I, 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 I to get hyped on that one. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> we hyped about, surprised. We we hyped about <laughs> War Games. We had a whole different video planned for today. Make sure y'all post on the Reddit. Reddit is coming soon, y'all. So make sure you post on the Reddit. Hey, we were going to have a Reddit video come out, but we had, we had a lot of technical difficulties with this. So yeah, we're sorry about that. But when it comes, it'll be fine. So the cover got revealed. John Cena is on the cover March 14th. If you pre-order the Icon Edition, this is not a paid video, by the way. If you pre-order the game, you're going to get to play it on March 14th. So be expecting that content coming very, 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 very soon. Speaking of content, there's a lot of stuff we got to talk about. Showcase mode is completely different now, which is awesome. Universe mode. Oh, I want a bus! And then we got the war what game. What is that? It's not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cream jeans. Like, come on now. You know what? We're, we're gonna start with war games. Whew. Let's do it. Let's start with war games. So war games, uh, I, I was kind of shocked that it, that, that, that it's saying, I'm not gonna lie. I was talking, I was talking to Dalt like a couple months ago. I'm like, if they put war games in, I will be shocked. Lo and behold, they put war games in. And, and we, we are shocked. shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull up. Cause I'll read the exact quote from Brian Williams. Let me go ahead and pull this up. It's every bit as frantic, chaotic as you expect the war games match to be. This is the first time in the franchise where we're finally allowing weapons inside the steel cage structure. When new entrants come into the match, players are able to take control of a character on their way to the ring and pull weapons out from underneath the ring and introduce them in the cage environment. Diving off the top of the cage, coming from the little fight pit shark tank cages. Hey, war games being added is lit. What do you think? Hey, bro, all I gotta think is Draft Wars War Games? Or wait, Draft War, war Games? Draft yeah, War yeah. Games. Let's talk about showcase mode real quick. The fact that we get to play as John Cena's opponents is a great twist on the mode. That is actually gonna get me to play it. What do you think? Bro, it's so good because like John Cena, like we all know, five moves of doom, you know what I'm saying? You get the little swisher, you get the little, <laughs> you get <a> little, <laughs> and then you get a little, what? And then you hit the fourth quarter, you know what I'm saying? We already saw from the showcase trailer that Kurt Angle is the very first match against the prototype John Cena, if you will. We saw the BCW arenas in the game! Yes, sir. <laughs> With RVD. Cena is not gonna be played as, but we're playing as RVD, Kurt Angle, Batista, you gotta think Randy Orton, The oh, Rock, yeah. The Undertaker. There's so many different movesets to use. That's gonna be lit. Usually I don't like Showcase. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I think Showcase is one of the most wasted, like, modes. I, I, I've, been, I've been saying that for years now, and I'm, I gotta stand on that hill. You know, I'm not gonna go back on it. But Showcase mode, having it to where you play as the opponents and you try to win, that's kind of cool. Now, John Cena better be Super Cena. This man better be tough because if he's not, and it's just like showcase, but if it's like regular showcase and you're playing as the opponents, then I don't think it's gonna be that great. It would be sweet as hell if Cena played like WB2K14 Undertaker yes. from Defeat the Street. Yep. Yes. Let yep. me have a challenge against Super Cena. Don't do it in the earlier matches. Like, that's fine. Like, Cena against Angle, that's cool. We don't yeah. need that. Cena versus The Undertaker when Undertaker gave him the goozle and pinned him in like two minutes. <laughs> we don't need that. However, if I'm RVD and I'm fighting in the Hammerstein Ballroom, I want to beat the <laughs> out of him. I want to have to go to war. <laughs> now, let me sprinkle some thought into y'all's head real quick. Okay. If this happens, this would be insane. Do y'all remember the first time we lost in Showcase on 22 and saw that Eddie Guerrero pulled the mask yeah. off on Ray? ECW One Night Stand 2006, they had a sign infamously in the crowd. If Cena wins, we riot. I'm just saying. Hey, look, they also had John Cena, so hopefully that's in there too. <laughs> now, obviously we don't know all of the matches. However, from what we saw, The Rock from WrestleMania 28, or no, 20, 28, yeah. yeah. From WrestleMania 28's in there, I believe I saw a glimpse, just a teeny weeny, eeny, glimpse of a WrestleMania 27 logo, which would be sweet because that's the Miz entrance with the big awesome bubbles. If we get to use that in advanced entrances, which is back, which is sweet, that would be cool. The fact that it's people that have beaten John Cena makes me believe, here's a bold prediction, here's a bold prediction, just a prediction, not a spoiler. I think that Carlito might be in the game. Now, the reason why I say that, that second cover, which is the best cover in my opinion, which has the US title, he lost the US championship to Carlito. I think Carlito might be in because he was in the, the the Royal Rumble and that's cool. And another thing I'm excited about with Showcase, we get the SmackDown Fist Arena back, like you said. We get the ECW Arena, and then we also get the OVW Brock Lesnar, Batista, Randy Orton. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. about. Bro, that. no, 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 no. You said it incorrectly. It is not Batista. It is Leviathan with the. 
big oh, thing. Look at this right. mark, bro. <laughs> bro. I can finally make my favorite version of Batista, Deacon Batista. <laughs> I can put him in a little suit. Just call my name. Yeah, you probably would like to put Batista in chains. <laughs> <laughs> Now something else I want to talk about real quick, moving away from showcase mode, my GM. My GM, it seems like did get some updates. Something that I saw that got updated is you can now play up to four players. Three of us, there's a my GM. I'm just saying! Oh, yo, simply better GM! He knows all about that from the WWE 2K series. Y'all can go check that out on the WWE uh, 2K channel where I laid the smack down on him. Simply better raw! Yes, gave it to a raw. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be a very interesting thing to see. It also said there's more show <laughs> options. I kind of hope that we see like ECW and WCW be introduced because there is an ECW arena in the game. Moving on from my GM. Y'all, they finally updated Universe. They it's about time, bro. It's about time. Hey, look, 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 look. We can ooh wee until the cows come home, man. I gotta see how the mode is. Yeah. No, yeah. that's very true. I agree. However, the from what I read from Brian Williams, it sounds insane. Let me pull it up real quick, just in case y'all did not see it. It's actually Jinx that said this. It unlocks the potential of what our designer are able to create or the users who have access to it so you can choose certain actions before the match like oh I want these two superstars before the match to start to do a handshake however I don't want the handshake to finish I want him to jump him after the handshake you can now put cutscenes before in the middle and after your match in universe mode kind of like how I'm gonna assume this is how it works how you can choose when the run-ins happen I'm gonna assume it's something similar to that the fact that they even added this though the amount of crazy content you are gonna see from your favorite content creators. <coughs> uh, you're gonna be able to have a lot more options that now happen in these videos. Murph's YT13 is about to give it to y'all. That's gonna yep. be crazy to see what he does with that stuff. I have no excuse anymore not to do Hardcore Hotline finally because the ECW <laughs> arena is in the game and there's all these cutscenes that I get to do. Our boy X3 is about to go crazy over on twitch.tv slash Zary High Life doing Smackdown! Live. Live. You already know. He's gonna be killing that stuff, bro. War Games, of course. It's a new match. It's a new experience. It's gonna be really, really dope to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Very excited for it. However, Universe Mode is my bread and butter. It's my baby. It is my child. Last year when we went to California and we played the game early for WB2K22, Jinx had told us that they rewrote the engine. And that's now have been what has come out for 2K23 that they have rewrote the engine and are now finally able to start adding the things that we've wanted to see for years be finally added. Even if this is a minor step in the right direction, we gotta walk before we can run. Maybe it might be a mild jog because to play devil's advocate, okay. how many new cutscenes were possibly added? We don't know yet. That's we, true. You know, mm -hmm. hopefully we find out soon. You know, we will be at the Royal Rumble on Friday. We will be. Or actually Saturday, but we'll, we'll be in Texas on Friday. <laughs> if you see us walking around San Antonio, come say hello. This is the voice. Dum -dum. I definitely ain't making it to Hollywood, but you nah, know. Nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> they ain't turning their chairs, bro. They're not. But you can turn your chairs if you see us behind you and say, hey, what's up, Vibers? And take a picture, you know? <laughs> that was smooth. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Post it on the Reddit as well, and then obviously we're going to shout y'all out on the Reddit. So make sure you go and post on the Reddit because we got a Reddit video coming up very, very soon for y'all. Closing thing, if you will. It's kind of an elephant in the room, if you will. And I'm not talking about Bad Bunny because that's a bunny in the room. My faction's back. My faction is online. My faction is gonna have a lot of microtransactions, probably. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, this is just my opinion on it. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Now, before y'all pull up the pitchforks, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing because I feel like you have a choice. You can choose whether you wanna use that or not. Now, let's be honest here. It's a professional wrestling game. My faction is not really the most enticing thing for professional wrestling fans. Like, point blank period. I don't think that mode will ever really fully catch my attention. Now, if they start throwing in some NXT Seth Rollins again, and maybe he has an entrance, <laughs> and maybe he has a little blonde in his hair. Speaking of blonde Seth Rollins in his hair, this just hit me. You know a big match that John Cena lost in his career? He lost to the white fit Seth Rollins That's at SummerSlam. True. If that matches in, we gonna make some Seth Rollins Shield stuff, and we could do a three v three in War Games because we didn't mention that either earlier. Three v three War Games, four v four War Games. No, it's not five v five. A lot of people tripping about five v five, man. Y'all gotta relax. At least War Games is in the no, damn game. And right. here, and here's the thing. Shut the f up. Right. Because the last <laughs> War Games matches 
We're 4v4. Who knows? Y'all might see Vibe go up against the Elite in a War Games match. You might see Vibe go up against the Bloodline in a War Games match. There's no you might. It's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> and with WWE 2K23, especially the content we about to bring y'all is absolutely insane. We know that we're about to go insane this year with content. We're talking us three. We're talking duos. We're talking me, Deontay. We're talking about everybody in Vibe getting involved and we're gonna give y'all more content than we ever have before on WWE 2K23. So if you're not Subscribe already! Subscribe, baby! Subscribe, come on, what you doing? Yeah, I got one thing to say, just just one little thing. Uh, we've been inconsistent over here on Vibe. A lot of y'all don't know, we were gonna drop a Reddit video where we addressed it, but that was the Reddit video that got messed up, technical issues. Uh, I tore my left ACL. I've been going through rehab. It's been, uh, I'm going on three months. Actually, Friday will be three months since surgery. So I've been focused on just having a good recovery, I'm having a great recovery. I'm on my John Cena right now. So, uh, so yeah, no, no, for real, man. Hey, if, if y'all don't get that deluxe cover, man, y'all are tripping. I'm just saying. No, okay, let real quick. Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Closing we're out. What's your favorite cover? The icon. U.S. title. The U.S. title as well. Yeah. Mine's the icon. Because you are a baby. Dude, <laughs> you know, that, that, that color. color yeah. Oh my god, the color yeah. scheme of that one is yeah. fire. Right? I, I mean, we we all can agree that the the, the cross gen version of it with, with, with that that's definitely the weakest one. Yeah. 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 Like, it's fine. Like, I like it. So, dog, what are you looking forward to the most in 2K23 so far? Mmm, universe, I think. Okay. Because, like, the updates to it, it sounds like it's going to be my paradise. I like that. What about you? I'm, I'm hyped to play war games, man. Yeah. Like, I've been wanting war games in, in these games for a minute now, and it's finally happening. It's finally happening, and I'm happy about it. I'm actually genuinely, like, happy about a mode being added <laughs> to the game. Universe mode, I got to see more about that. Mm -hmm. Showcase mode, it... It, it, like I said, if it's not difficult, I think it's gonna kind of fall flat. It's cool that you get to play as the opponents, but you know, really, what does that mean? You know right. what I mean? We didn't even mention my rise is still here, obviously. Yeah. My, well, yeah, but but, but my rise, my rise, I, yeah. I, I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it speaks for itself. Oh, uh, there's two paths. There's uh, what, what, what were the paths again? They they had, like two names for them. Fully expect my rise to kind of be the same. My rise was cool for what it was, but we need more. We needed more. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and the short stories were they were fun for what they were, but. It's hard to really sink your teeth into something and get invested into something when it doesn't last long and there really is no like continuity with things and like you're, you're wrestling at payback every pay-per-view. Like I, I wasn't really a fan of that so I hope I hope my rise is a little more coherent. I hope it, you know I, I just hope it's a little more you know a, a little more deep. Yeah like I'm a I'm a big my career and my rise guy. That's what I look forward to the most. Yep. Like you said I'm really hoping they just added a, a bit more quality of life yeah, to yeah. it. Like, I want the continuity to keep going. I want there to be a definitive end. That's my biggest gripe yeah, with it. I just yeah. wish there was just like, hey, you do this and it's over. What I'm most optimistic for is universe mode, like Dalt said. Because it, it looks so promising. There's a lot of good stuff for WWE 2K23. There's a lot of great content that's about to be coming to y'all's faces. Once again, if you see us at the Rumble, come say hello. Post on the Reddit. We love y'all. And as always, and forever, take it easy, y'all. Peace.